Falmouth stays undefeated on the road, improving to 3-0 away from the Gov. David Adar here, joined alongside by Matt Levine. Thanks for joining us on Closing the Door. Matt, a great win tonight here in Hyannis as the Commodores pull it out with an 8-5 victory. The, hot, the bats were hot early. Five runs scored in the first, and that just propelled them for the rest of the game. Well, it's been that top of the order that's been getting on base, but tonight it was the middle half, which yesterday struggled tremendously. That really got it done in the first inning. Jake Ducart in the four spot that really the beginning of the middle half of the order had a uh, bases clearing with the bases loaded a three RBI double in the first inning. Two batters later, Jonathan French brings him home with a two run home run, his second home run of the season, his second here in Hyannis in three days. So just getting out early, I talked about it so much on the broadcast, that helps so much. It gives your pitcher some room to work with and a five spot in the first inning especially is just huge going for the rest of the game. You talk about Jonathan French. He now has two home runs here in his last two games. He is starting to get that back going and that could be very dangerous for opposing teams. Yeah, and if you add that into the fact that in big spots he's really done a good job defensively, but to have a bat as a catcher too is huge and you stick him at the lower half of that middle, upper half of the end of the, uh, the batting lineup, it's just another dangerous piece. It seems like this lineup has become so balanced as we're getting to know the team through the first week or so of the season. So if, if he really gets going, which we've seen him do constantly in batting practice, but if he does that in game, which now uh, two multi-hit games here in his last two starts, two home runs, a double and a single as well. If he's able to continue doing that every time he's on the field, it's going to be very consistent. A lot of talk tonight about the lineup for the Commodores, but you have to start with the pitching staff also tonight. It's been a completely different story at home versus on the road. At home in three games played so far, the Commodores pitching staff has allowed 31 total runs. On the road, only 12 runs allowed. Five tonight, which is their most on the road this season, but the bats are so hot that it, it kind of negates it a bit. Well, they got a phenomenal start from Adam Stone, who I, he, he told us that he knew he was going two innings, and just having that mindset probably let him empty the tank a little bit more than he probably would have if he was going to go and extend his start. So two innings from him scoreless, facing the minimum. Uh, Jonathan French threw out a runner in the first inning trying to steal. That obviously helps also. And then the defense stepped up too, so that helps the pitching there. Really was only one mistake from Jackson Phipps tonight, that three-run home run from uh, Marcos Pujols. That was an absolute laser into right field. But other than that, it was just a lot of strikes, not too many free passes, which we saw so many, 11 of them last night. And then you come back and have just all around bullpen game almost with everybody going two innings except Jancic getting the save at the end with one inning. Everybody threw strikes tonight. Well, Adam Stone had his second start of the season tonight, two innings of work, and he faced six hitters, the minimum, over those first two innings. He's joined now alongside the third member of our team, Joanne Bethay. We'll send it over to her now. Thanks, guys. I'm here with pitcher Adam Stone. Adam, before coming to the Cape Cod League, you hadn't had a college outing yet, and your first two outings here have been very successful. What does that do for your confidence? I'm definitely a lot more confident getting some college innings under my belt, as you know, I didn't have much experience coming into the season. Um, so very confident after the first two outings and just hoping to build off uh, each outing. Do you feel that you had a command on all of your pitches tonight? Yeah, I think my fastball and my slider were working really well. Um, when I'm able to get up in front with my fastball, I can use my slider to my advantage. Um, so I thought I had good command of both the pitches, and it, it worked out well for me. Do you think knowing that you're only going to pitch a couple innings affects how you pitch? Yeah, definitely. I think I can empty the tank a little bit when I'm only pitching two. Um, when I start, you kind of want to make sure that you have some in the tank for the rest of the game. But only going two innings, I knew I could, could let a couple eat and, and let it go today. Awesome. Thanks, Adam. The Commodores take down the Harbor Hawks 8-5. to <laughs> Falmouth will be on the road tomorrow night taking on Wareham. Closing the door, I'm Joanne Bethay with my broadcast partners Matt Levine and David Adar. That's all from McKean Park.